Hello everybody, Shift Train Gen, and today I will be playing Ponbarian again. Uh, I have played this game before, and uh, I think we won, but uh, it had like a huge patch about a month ago, which I didn't realize until today, so uh, I tried to, I, I want to see the differences, what they changed, and uh, what they added, etc. And I hope they added some things. If they didn't, it doesn't matter, because I think the game launches in a month. <laughs> so I'm right in between. A month before it got patched, in a month it's launching. So I think it's a good time to showcase this. Or maybe the sound's too strong. Ah, let's, we will see. Let's see. Ponbarian. Shogun. Knight Templar. Shogun. Ponbarian. Okay, we only have the basic character here. Uh, he starts with uh, the classic lineup of chess, other than the fact that we have one, two, three, four, five pawns <laughs> instead of, you know, uh, eight. Promote a pawn. Is it eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I don't have a queen? I don't have a queen. Okay. Uh, promote a pawn whenever you move into a top row, start your turn in the top row, or have three pawns in hand. And the promote obviously means it becomes a queen, but uh, maybe it got upgraded and made it so that promote means anything. Um, B10 commemorative chain modifiers in the full release. Okay, so it also has that. These are also only for the full release. These are all demo characters. We got the tutorial cave, which we're obviously not gonna go to. The goblin cave. Is there anything here? Select the Ponbarian character at chain zero to access this. Yeah, I don't care. The goblin cave, which is most likely we're gonna go to. And uh, these are not available in the demo, so let's go to the Goblin Cave. It says Unconquer it because I played it, uh, I think, online. It was like an online version or something. Okay, the game is a uh, roguelike, and it's pretty much... Uh, you move... It's chess, okay? You move your character based on which chess pieces you have. So, for example, if I use my pawn here, I can eat this sideways, but not frontal, but because the pawn is going frontal, and if I use, like, the horse... I can jump wherever I want. Uh, this is to skip the turn. This is how many moves I have. So I can play two moves. And this little lightning here means, as you see at the top right, cantrip, gain an action, and draw a card when you play this. So we start with gaining that. By the way, enemies also have abilities. Whoops, sorry for that. So a gigantic rodent with taste of meat. So he has no abilities. Two damage, it says. Vanguard on the pack. Immune while the hero is in any of the cardinal adjacent squares. So you cannot kill him by being in adjacent cardinal adjacent squares so not in this line and in this line so i cannot kill him um if i had for example um a rook and uh, here he, nothing so this is the one thing you have to keep in mind this here at the top is how much gold you will gain and you gain less every time you move and um then the last thing you have to know is that these little spiky here show how much damage is going to happen there if you go over an enemy you see around them a red thing that's because these enemies attack at the end of the round everything that is around them other enemies will have other red indicators but because instead of going through every each and every enemy you can just see the pips here and each pip represents a damage so this if i end my round here while this character is alive i'm gonna get one damage if you go over those pips you can see who exactly is attacking them so if i go here everybody's red if i go here this guy's red if i go here these toes are red okay so that's it so let's begin i go over here kill him with a simple um you know what's it called cantrip and then i go here with another kill with a cantrip and um now i just need to kill him i cannot kill him because as i said i am next to him from the cardinal direction so i can move one to the front and then now i can kill him from afar very nice i was next to him at the last move so i have 12 gold i can give this little guy here i can give them um what's it called Cantrip. Cantrip, by the way, is the best ability in the game. So whenever you have the chance to get a cantrip, just take it. This guy here has also other abilities. I seems like I cannot see it, but uh, the abilities, as you can see here, absorb absorbs a point of damage this turn. So if you move and have this one, you can take damage and not actually take it. And this here, the cross is when you end the square somewhere, it's gonna do an explosion. So as I said, best ability in the game is always, always, always gonna be cantrip because imagine if anything everything is cantrip you can play everything forever if you if you just have one unit or two units that are not cantrip then you can forever play everything that you draw so we will continue it would be nice if i had more money for that and let's go on that's it for the explanations now we'll start playing a bit faster from here on out other than reading the abilities as you can see this guy for example is shooting two different squares not around him but one step away abilities here nimble dodges the first attack each turn if able 
and then dies. Uh, dodges the first attack each turn fable and then dies. And this goblin, by the way, these this guy does two damage, it seems. I don't know why it says two here at the top. I don't know why it says two damage. Oh, it's, uh, it's the field. So you can also read how much damage the field is taking. Uh, so dodge the first attack if able, moves in the direction of the attack. And opposite, immune while the hero is in any of the cardinal adjacent squares again. Uh, nimble dodges the first attack if turn if each able if able. So um, I can, for example, go over here with a rook and then go over here with this rook and kill him. I can do like two rooks. Uh, I'm thinking about maybe going a rook attack to him. He's gonna go back. Then I can do like, yeah, look at this. So rook attack to him. He's gonna slide back. Whoops. Now I can do like a uh, cantrip attack to him. I'm not in the cardinal direction, so he should normally uh, push himself into the corner. Okay. And now this square here takes no damage because this guy is melee, this guy is ranged, and this square takes no damage. He already did his move, so we are gonna kill him with, uh, you know, with the pawn. With the, with, it's, it's the same, doesn't matter. Kill him with the king just for some fanciness. Enemies move around, who cares? So these guys again have nimble. This guy is actually completely immune right now. So, um, I would say that uh, this is not a good round for us. So, what we should do is just move away from everything. We got a queen. The queen's gonna go in the deck, so I will just pass my turn and I'm gonna draw another queen because I start my round at the opposite side of the field. So, we got another queen and it, she also has cantrip. Let's begin with a horse attack. He moved away. He's attacking those squares, so I can now cantrip push him in the corner and then finish him with my um, bishop by as i'm not in a cardinal direction and now you can like get pushed and then the king gets the kill very nice we got a bit less coins but we still got a lot uh no can't oh we got a can't horse. we are obviously buying that let's come over here and buy the cantrips always 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 buy the cantrips at least that's my opinion you can play this however much however you want what is this guy with his aura of shininess so this is a new enemy by the way uh dodges immune while any other enemies alive? Okay, forget that guy. He is trash. He has uh, immune while the hero is in any cardinal direction. And he has leaves blight when moving. So we have to get rid of them as fast as possible. What's this? Um, Web Weaver. One death. Make the hero draw only up to two cards next turn. So we should kill him before last. And he's also attacking very bad. Look at this attack pattern. He's like only cardinal directions. Around, around, around. And this is sharpshooter. So this field is completely safe if I could get there. I mean, theoretically speaking, I could get there. Uh, I don't know if by killing him, he's going to leave a blight. He should not. So let's use the horse to go over here. Let's use this. Okay, exactly. So this field is safe. Enemies are moving. Bavidi boobidi. My turn to play. Um, let's go first. You know what? I can go one step forward. Uh, this damage here, the blight damage happens only if I stay at the end of the turn in that field. As far as I know. I might be wrong about this, but uh, let's play this like super safe, which would be rook over here. Okay, and this becomes a queen. So now we can do a backwards attack, which also is going to do an explosion with an X symbol. So that means that this guy's going to die. This guy's going to get pushed and then going to die from the explosion. And uh, this guy's going to be okay, but um, we don't really care about that guy. This field here is getting attacked from this guy only. So maybe we will need to somehow get away. There is no getaway plan right now. So we are yoloing. If we draw any of these three, we are safe. If we draw this, we're safe. Yeah, we're safe. Only no king. Only no king. We didn't draw a king. This is also a cantrip, by the way. So we can blink over here. And now with the queen, we can go backwards. This is a safe space too. And very nice. We cleared it. This guy now is pretty much toast. Uh, because of the queen thing... We cannot, uh, because we killed the spider, we only draw two cards, but we still can use two cards. So that means that this guy's toast. We don't draw anything good, but now we got a queen. And uh, now I can use this queen to blink over here. And now I can use this queen to, no, forget it. This is not a good idea. Let's pass our turn. I need to attack him twice in a row. Okay. One and two. And he's toast. I lost some money because of that. Uh, all shenanigans. But still 13. So we can buy another cantrip. Off we go. Buy the cantrip. And continue our merry way. The more cantrips the better. Okay. New enemies. Again. A sheep. Snakey paka paka. Snakey paka. Immune while. Oh that's it. Immune while the hero is not in any of the adjacent squares. Is not. So I have to go next to him and then kill him. 
Okay, good to know. What are you? Uh, Blight Blast. Blights all adjacent squares after death. Adjacent, not the same one. So I can kill him and stay where I kill him. Meanwhile, the hero is only of the cardinal directions, which I am right now. So I'm thinking about using the horse to blink over here and then killing the Tsnekipaka. Is not okay. I read that right. Just making sure I'm not reading anything wrong. Enemies are chasing me down. Okay, this is a safe spot. Let's not forget that. I can blink up and then uh, kill this guy. He's nimble though. I could kill this guy. This field is not safe. I'm thinking about this over here. Yep, it's free. I got two queens. I thought I only get one queen. Seems like I get two queens right away. That's really good for us. Um, should I kill this guy? I think I want to kill this guy, like pushing him. Who is attacking this field? He is attacking it. So let's go here. And let's go here. Now nobody's attacking it. Now I can use my little... Um, yeah, let's, let's use this to come here and then the queen to go to the left. Because I want to be all, all the time at the other side of the field. I want to always be at the top to always get queens as often as possible. This is a free kill. So I would say let's go for the kill on this guy. Oh, he also has elusive. Okay. Uh, well, let's chase him down with the king to be able to return if needed. I don't need to go anywhere. I'm safe here. So we will pass. I could go for the pawn move to the front and then like, yeah, let's do that. Let's move over here. Now let's move over here to be at the opposite side to get more queens obviously we got another queen we have this time though we don't actually have um a cantrip but it doesn't matter i can push him and then push him even more and he's toast yeah you can chase me down little spidey boy but you're toast and we won and i think i got enough money for another cantrip yes and it is a good old um what, what are these called uh Mm, my my mind blanked out. I'm sorry, guys. Rook, rook, rook. I'm sorry. Um. So new enemies? No, everything is the same. So everything has nimble, and these guys have nimble explosion. That's it. Well, this is new. Uh. No, he just is immune as long as everything else is still alive. So who cares? This field is getting attacked by the super mega ranged guy. So I'm thinking about going with this here, and then with the rook moving backwards over here for safety, or I can like. Oh, he's not gonna die. I'm thinking about pushing him here, then pushing him here, then with the rook. Then we will see, okay? We will see. Let's start with the attempt on the this guy. Mm, okay, we can do this for the assassination. I would say. Actually, we can do this for the assassination. Then do this to go up and then move backwards. Is that a good idea? Yeah, I mean, we need to start killing those, so let's go here for the assassination. Put the enemy in the corner. Whoops. And uh, ooh, I can continue actually moving. Um, is there a safe spot? Ah, oh, if the spider didn't exist. Maybe. Maybe if the spider didn't exist. Uh, I'm thinking about... I'm thinking about pushing him. Actually, I don't think I can do anything. Let's uh, Let's first go over here to see what we get. We got nothing, so let's go over here to a safe space and ask... Okay, everything is dangerous now. Every single spot, other than this one. This spot is safe, so if we can somehow arrive over there, we should be good to go. Uh, I, could use, I can use this queen to kill this guy, and then we will most likely draw... If we draw a horse, we're good to jump. If we're not drawing a horse, I can like move this forward, and then I'm gonna get another cantrip queen, move him to the right. He's gonna die, then I'm most likely gonna be able to somehow come back. Uh, yeah, let's try that. So, oh, I can actually go for this guy with the cantrip. Yeah, let's go for this guy with the cantrip because this is going to explode to the X. This is going to kill this one and this one too. Oop, both dead. Now I can use the horse to kill this guy as he's not going to be able to actually somehow survive this. He's toast. This field takes one. This field takes one. Uh, I'm thinking about assassinating this guy by going here and then here. And then with the queen, I can come back over there. So you're dead over here. Oh, he's not actually dead. Uh, I'm gonna 100% of the time draw a rook next, so if I kill him, there is no field where I'm safe. I see no field at all. This guy is covering all that, this guy is pretty much covering nothing. I cannot come over here with a rook somehow, so that's definitely a trap. I will go over here and do nothing. I got the rook, so might as well start be on the other side of the field to get queens on the next rounds. 
Now this is uh, not a good round. If I blink on him, he's dead. So I'm gonna blink on him. No, this does not work like I thought it would. Uh, this is a safe spot, as you see. No damage taken here, so kill him. Now he is immune while... Well, nothing actually. But uh, I cannot really attack him, so I'm stuck. As it said, I'm not taking damage here though. Uh, okay, this is really easy. We go over here, we get our queen, we go backwards, and then we kill him with the king, just because. Would be nice if the king gave you more money when you kill somebody with it. Yeah, another cantrip. Very nice. We're going for that. Uh, I'm thinking about maybe buying something, but uh, to be completely real, I don't want to buy anything because if I get the cantrip on the next shop, I might not be able to buy it. The more cantrips, the better, by the way. That's how you break this game. Whoop, everything's moving. You know what? You guys are moving. I'm moving a thousand times. Uh, nimble. I think I have seen everything. Immune while the hero is in any of the cardinal adjacent directions. The sniper. Yeah, I've seen everything here. I might try to kill this guy last just so that we don't have poison on the ground. The whole area here is safe. Uh, this area is also safe if I get rid of him, which is pretty easy the way he is over there. I will let the spider live. So let's go sideways. You're dead. Sideways. Actually, should I go sideways here? I think I should go sideways. Yep, you're dead. This pawn is not really good. I think I'm thinking about going over here, then getting a queen and going backwards over there. Let's go over here. He's toast. I can go backwards over here. He's toast. Uh, he's not immune. As I'm not in cardinal directions, so <clears throat> I guess he's toast. Yep. And uh, now I got two cantrips, so I'm pretty safe. Nothing to be afraid of. Let's go over here. Get my card. Let's go over here. And uh, I think there is, like, no point in playing anything, so let's pass. Okay, I think the time has come to clear the area. This guy is not immune. For some reason, I thought he was immune. So I'm gonna do the queen kill here and an explosion too. Gonna push this guy. Now I can chase him down. He's toast. And uh, I mean, only the spider is left, so might as well blink onto it. And now I also have a shield at this point, so even if for some reason you take damage if you end the round there... I would not take it. Where is my cantrip? I don't like this. Where's my cantrip? Uh, okay, upgrading cantrips, uh, cantrip, uh, what it's called, upgrading units that already have cantrip is also extremely valuable. So let's upgrade this one. And, uh, and I guess uh, this one too. I mean, shielding is good. Shielding is really good. Explosion is also good, but shielding is a bit better in my opinion, because if you can get like two or three shields in a round, you don't even care about getting hit. Again, I'm going to keep my 13 money because at the end of this, we're going to enter uh, infinite mode, which uh, you can buy only one time. So I want to be able to buy at that one shop. We got some new units here. So um, blights all adjacent squares after death. That's it. Okay, who cares? The same as this guy, but without the nimble. And also its attack is a lot worse. What is this? Goblin Blight with Vessel. Immune while any other units are alive. Okay, Nimble dodges the first attack. Blight Caller spawns a Blight Sack on an empty adjacent square whenever a non-Blight Sack enemy dies. Blight Sacks are these? Ooh, this is not gonna be easy. So maybe I should Blight the whole bottom area and let the top area be as it is. Because this guy's gonna like spawn a Blight Sack on an empty adjacent square whenever a non Blight Sack enemy dies. Wow, this is uh, this is not going to be an easy fight. Either way, let's uh, let's begin this. Maybe I should kill him first. I could go like horse over here. Kill him with this, which is going to be an insta kill. And then, um, and then I'm going to be over here and I'm most likely going to get hit or something. Um, or I could kill this guy and then with the horse attack kill him. Yeah, that makes also sense. Now let's go for this. So this thing. Oh, now he's got an explosion. I can just move forward. The explosion is going to kill this guy. And this guy's going to get pushed in the corner. But I cannot chase him down with the horse after that. So uh, I don't see any point in that. Otherwise, I could do this and then spawn. This guy's immune. Uh, I don't know. Do I want to kill this thing? And then I can like use my horse to blink over there. Actually, the horse is not going to save us, to be honest. Uh, I have a shield, so the horse is okay here, but I don't know where he's going to spawn. Let's let's go for this. Start getting rid of people. He spawned the blight sack over there, so this is taking two, two damage. Um, Can I kill anything? Doesn't look like it. I could use the horse to blink over there. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. So let's use the horse to go over here. This, uh, this uh, field takes one damage, which uh, is okay with me as I have one shield. So I would say pass. 
Yeah, if I had a horse, I would obviously blink over there just to have some queens on the next round pass. Now, this round should have a lot of cantrips. So I should be able to clear out the field. What I would like to be able to do is clear out the whole field in one turn as fast as possible. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking about using the horse just to get here. Is that even... Does that make sense? Using horse just to get here and then this queen. With this queen then I can eat this thing up. Uh, I have rooks and queens coming in, so I will be able to eat this thing up too, and then maybe push those guys into the corner. Yeah, let's uh, let's try to just move over here with the... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, yeah, uh, let me think about this, because I'm thinking about maybe playing this here, and then uh, blinking over here with the horse, and then moving one step forward, then exploding this and this, but this guy is gonna get into the... Yeah, he's, he's nimble, so he's gonna get in the corner. Uh, up, and then backwards. It's only gonna kill this, though. Yeah, no, I want to push him in the corner. Maybe I can kill him after that. So let's use the horse from over here. Now let's move forward. Doing the explosion. Very nice. Now I could chase him down with this. Uh, there is no safety anywhere, by the way. There is no shield coming in. I mean, I have cantrips to run away. This is the most safe spot in the game. I could eat him up and then use the cantrip to go over here. Then whatever comes in, I can use the cantrip to go over there. Then whatever comes in, I can use the cantrip to go over here and then run over here. But this is going to explode, so this is going to be two pips. Then I will need to go over here. I think it's going to pan out well. If it doesn't, I will lose one life. So now I need to go... Wait, I can go over here with the cantrip. Wait a minute. If I go over here and get cantrip, if I get the king... If, if I get the pawn, we're, we're toast. I'm just gonna pass. No, let's go over here. Does it make sense? Does it make sense to go over here to get a queen? If I go over here and get the queen, I go over here then. I get a, the rook and kill him. If I get the queen, if, if the opposite happens, I can do that again. Then I will have the king to move diagonally. And then I'm gonna die. I'm gonna take two hits. I don't want. I think I should just go over here and do nothing. Let's, let's, let's calculate for a second. I go over here, I get a queen or a rook. If I get a rook or a queen, doesn't matter. I move over here, then the other thing comes along. I kill this. Maybe with a queen. Yeah, I kill this, and then I draw something random, which somehow has to bring me over here. And I will still have the king. With the king, the only thing I will be able to do from here is gonna move in some kind of direction. No, let's, uh, let's not risk it. Let's go over here. This, and uh, this guy should come closer to us. Yeah, let's go over here. Let's not close ourselves completely in. This is an okay spot to be in, I think. Let's pass. I will take the block damage. Yeah, enemies around me. Very nice. I, I want these guys to surround me because I have one space. This is not extremely dangerous. That is not extremely dangerous. So we are killing this guy. Okay. Pushing uh, this guy to the corner. Very nice. Killing him. Wait, I have a horse. I can kill this. But then I cannot use this. Okay, I'm killing him here. Whoop. This is a one damage spot, which is pretty safe. Safe-ish. Then I can use come over here to get a shield and not die. And the next round, I'm going to get a bunch of queens. It should be the win. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Here is a pretty safe spot. And uh, pass. I like how there are like deaths here. It's like death. Here is death. Um, I think I will just use the queen to end this. So eat this guy up. Use the queen for the explosion. Is this guy immune? He should not be immune. Is there a take back? There is no take back. Um, if I get the horse and move over here, is this queen also going to evolve? If this queen evolves, we're okay. Only one evolved. Uh, that's not good. Oh, no. We can go over here. Let's read this correctly. Meanwhile, any others are alive. Dodges the first. Okay, I go over here and then I eat him up and also explode at the same time. And he's toast. No coins gotten. Not a single coin gotten. That's how slow we were. Uh, covered with protective sigils. Gauntlet pillar. Gauntlet pillar. Okay. Exit portal. Rest rests on your laurels. Deeper parts of the dungeon are sealed off with ancient magic. Immune while any other enemies are alive. Uh, can I like not go in there? 
oh, I'm opening the, the gate, or I could rest on your laurels, exit portal, no, we go all in, we go on uh, infinite mode, if we die, we die, yeah, uh, we die, I thought there was a shop before this, I kept my money because of the shop, um, yeah, okay, well, we might die here, but we beat the game regardless, so I guess it's a win. <laughs> um, let's see how this will go. This is gonna blight when moving, so I should kill him right away. He's just immune while I'm not next to him. This guy has to die last. Yeah, well, let's obviously begin with this move. Now. Now we're dead. I like how I said obviously. <laughs> Most likely horse here and then king here and take one damage. Is there any field that takes zero? Nothing takes zero. I, wa I was looking up here. Oh, uh, let's blink over here and see what we get. I mean, I can obviously go over here with the king, so that is decently safe. Um, who is attacking this? This guy. And this is getting attacked by this guy. So theoretically speaking, I could eat this up and then move up. Yeah, that's how I don't take damage. I'm most likely gonna die next turn, by the way. Uh, because uh, that's how this game works. Who's attacking this? Him? Oh, wait. This is a better target. Let's kill him first, then. Whoops, you're toast. Let's move here to safety. I could have killed the Snake Kapka, but uh, I would have taken damage. This is the, the, the moment of truth. Are we gonna survive this? Uh, I should start killing people. Immune while the hero is in any cardinal direction. Sweeps. Okay, who cares? Uh, I would say let's go downward. Let's eat this up. Actually, let's eat this up with this. Nice. Explosions. Um, he's immune while I'm next to him. Got it. He's also immune. Uh, let's. This is a forced move, obviously. I'm going in here because I want to do an explosion with the queen if possible. Obviously did not become a queen. Not what I wanted. Um... Queen eats, or queen eats, and then eats, and then I have no cards, and then I run away for one round. I think running away from for one round is okay, as long as I'm getting rid of units. So let's get rid of. The, ah, if this was a queen, man, it would have been so much better. Can I make that a queen? I don't think I can. Let's go. Oh, how much damage is this taking? Oh, I can take it. Oh, I can take a lot of damage. Okay, let's go. Let's go. So you hit this. You eat this, you eat this, and explode this guy too. Boop, both dead. And now I don't even take a damage. Actually, I have shielding, but uh, I wouldn't take damage either way. I'm webbed right now. Oh, webbed only applies once. Perfect. Okay, then uh, I move over here and then over here. Because I need to attack him twice for him to die. I mean, I had lethal, I think, but I missed it. It doesn't really matter. Let's go over here and let's push him into the, his death. And we won. Can I now go to a shop, please? Okay, there is no shop anymore. It's over. This is gonna be infinite. Infinite forever. Yeah, just so you know, in this game, what happens most of the time is in one round, you just take all your health, life, and damage. Maybe maybe if you misplay, maybe if you misplay, that's not how it will end for you. But normally speaking, in this game, you just die in one round. Uh, let's uh, let's start with an attempted kill. Let's kill the spider and the chupacabra. Snake cabra. So two are out already. I have one more room to one more move to do, and obviously I'm not gonna do anything. Let's pass. Is there when they move they leave poison behind? Ooh, ooh, I didn't see them. Um, okay, so eat him up. Eat him up. Wait, can I avoid it after that? I mean, I will have one more move, so. Uh, I got. I think I want to eat this guy and then run away in this corner. Yep, eat this guy up. Hmm. Thinking about eating this guy up too. But then I will not be able to run into anything. Uh, what's coming in? If it's the king, we're toast. If it's uh, anything else, it's gonna be a queen, and then I can run instantly down there. And this is a safe spot. Actually, I have two moves to do. Yeah, let's eat this up. This is a king queen now. Whoops, you're dead. And uh, this is a safe spot, so I don't even need to move. Although this... Actually, you know what? This spot takes one damage, so I'm gonna move here. Kill those two. And uh, I still have the king, so let's go aggressive over to the other side. Maybe get a queen or something. Very nice. This is a free kill. You're toast. He's immune right now. Let's uh, move above him. Is there like any reason to not just try to save myself? Get a queen. Run away. Pass. Join me, brethren. Um, okay, I guess... 
I guess there's gonna be a horse attack. Go over here, horse attack. And uh, yeah, I mean, explosion. We won. Very nice, very easy. Go on. The goblin caves, got it for three. I don't know how long I'm gonna survive. I have. Okay, this is gonna be a bunch of nimble, but I can just push them into each other. Yeah, guys, come close. Nothing, nothing bad's gonna happen. Instantly, the immune guy approaches me. Um, I think this horse is gonna push him into that corner, which is not really good. Let's let's try it though. Uh, at this point, we're already in the infinite, so I don't really care about uh, losing or not. Which is the blight guy? This guy's the blight guy, and this guy's the blight guy. I'm gonna leave them for last. So what I should do is uh, push this guy in the corner. Okay. Eat this guy up. Eat this guy up while also eating this guy up with explosion. Two and one. Uh, this guy's immune right now. Why is he immune? Okay, got it. Um, Where's he attack? Who's attacking this field? He. And who else? Why does this have two? Oh, because of blight. Who cares? I have shielding. Having shielding is broken. Uh, do, 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 do. Eat this guy up. Or I could eat this guy up. Eat, let's eat this, this guy up. Actually, if I get a cantrip... No, let's eat him up for sure. He's toast. Take no damage because I have shielding. As I said, cantrip and shielding is the best thing. Uh, no, 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 no. He needs to die. Uh, he can get easily get destroyed. So let's go first for this guy. Now I would like to push him into the corner and then follow him up. I'm not taking damage over here, so I'm in a very safe spot. I'm gonna save, stay here. Give me my mega pawn of explosiveness. Okay, eating this guy, destroying this guy too. Oh, I did not destroy him. Okay. That's not good. Um... What is damaging this field? Okay, I can go here. I mean, I have horses, so I can easily move around really quickly. Um, I would say let's go over here and do nothing. It's safer than anything else. Also, getting queens in my deck is really decent. Uh, okay, this is not good. Let's go over here. Let's go over here and pass. Okay, now we can destroy this guy for sure. So this is an insta-kill. Nice. I'm pushing you into the corner. Pulling you up with a knight and killing you over here. Very easy. Let's go on. Gauntlets for four. How many gauntlets are we gonna do? Is this gonna be the death of us? A ranged unit is the boss. Stop Capra. I like how they just made the enemies that are immune yellow. And then you have like the spinny thing, meaning that they are actually also completely immune and then you also got this sim actually it's the light the light is immune until enemies die the spinny thing is uh the dodge nimble and the uh, yellow overall means immune i like that how, how they did that uh this guy moves and does damage so you're toast let's kill the snake up cabra the first round as always i'm thinking about killing the the arachnid there and then maybe using this to go over there yeah let's let's start moving around uh as we learned the um, yeah, as we have learned, these things don't stack, so should actually eat this thing up. I can move backwards and explode this this guy too, and uh, kill this guy. I have two shields, by the way, so I'm extremely safe. And kill this guy too, as I'm already webbed. Uh, this takes two damage, so might as well kill him too. I have two shields, two damage, one from light. Ah, who cares? I should take one and one. Yeah, very nice. And already cleared half the field. You know why I cleared half the field? Because I had one, two, three, four, five, six. I draw six um, cantrips. That's that's how strong they are. Uh, I use this. He dies. He explodes. Very nice. And uh, can I go back to safety? Oh, man. This is the first round. I did not calculate my second move. And it already pays off. Uh, yeah. I'm getting hit here no matter what I do. I cannot get to these spaces. There is no take back in this game, so uh, we are getting hit. Doesn't matter though, doesn't matter, because trust me, I'm gonna stay here closer to the queens. Uh, doesn't matter that I get hit here. Be oh no, I have two moves. No, I had two moves. I was webbed. No. It's okay. It's okay. Trust me, 
I'm gonna die. At some point, I'm just straight up gonna take like 5 damage. So, it's okay. Let's, uh... And now everybody's like, no, Sift, you were the chosen one. You were supposed to be good at this. Um, Let's go sideways into this. Then chase him down with queens. We'll go over here and then chase. Actually, we can kill him for sure. So let's go here just to make sure that this is going to be a queen. Kill this guy. Uh, if I get the cantrip, I can kill him. Otherwise, I can't. But I'm definitely going to get the shield, by the way. So yeah, Let's get the shield. Will I be able to run away? If I get the horse? Yeah, no, I will not be able to run away. Forget it. Safety first. I even passed the last round. Wow. Uh, yeah, let's push him into death. Bye. And now you you also have nimble. Okay, my dude. Okay, my dude. Uh, let's get next to him. It's a cantrip. And uh, let's go over here and now push him into explosives. Very nice. Next up, floor five. And now we got the full board of enemies. And they always start first, by the way. They can never attack you, but they always start first. <laughs> Those didn't even move. Uh, as you can see here, look at this. Death, 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 death. I am telling you guys, you instantly die in this game. Um, I think I have to kill this guy first and the spider last. So let's go with the sideways explosion. Now let's go full on aggro into the field. I can go backwards here with uh, my rook. I'm pretty safe. Uh, I'm thinking about killing this guy too. Should I kill this guy or this guy? Yeah, this guy is a bit more hard. So maybe kill this guy. Am I going to be able to get run out of this? Yeah, I am. Yeah, I definitely am. Let's kill this. Um, on the way out, I would like to take some... I would like to get some kills with us. Bring some people with us. Yeah, I can. I think I can take him with me. Yep, you're toast. And we avoid any danger whatsoever. And now, look how the whole field's gonna start having a bunch of damage. Okay, actually not as dangerous as I thought it would be. We have a really bad hand. Yeah, that's how you die. <laughs> um, I would say let's go here and then let's start exploding to the left. Oop. We died. That's how it happens. I didn't think about it. I thought we were gonna pick one, get one of those. Was I right or was I right? Did I told I told you so? Did I tell you that I'm gonna take like seven damage and then one do I die? That's how you die in this game. <laughs> always, always you die like this. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I I didn't think about it. For some reason, I thought I was gonna be safe. Um, yeah, it happens. Mistakes are mistakes. Well, what can you do? That's stress. <laughs> He's already dead. <laughs> examine board. What is examine board? That's new. Oh, just to look what happened. Yeah, okay, not really that useful. Uh, would be nice to have a take back, but to be honest, no. In in, in chess, there is no take back. So I guess okay, I guess. Also, there should be no take back because with all those cantrips, you can see the cards that's coming in. Yeah, maybe take back is not something that should exist in this game. Um, so yeah, that was it. I think we went pretty well for my first run. I mean, it's the second run I actually am doing in my life. So um, yeah, I mean, that's the game pretty much. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, drop a like. Maybe, maybe. If you don't, maybe don't drop a like. Do what you want. Any comments are welcome about anything and everything because I'm reading everything and I'm also answering most of them. So if you want to tell me something, just comment down below and I'm going to read it. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys like the footage. I hope the game is going to be even more awesome. I'm, I'm expecting the game to be awesome on the next uh, when it launches. I'm really excited to see those other characters other than anything. Completely unknown to conditional chestlands. Methodical blows. Prefers to use sweeping. Methodical blows. I don't know what these guys are. Maybe they will have different uh, layouts. Maybe one of them has like more knights or something. Or maybe more uh, more of those. Uh, you know, more of the pieces instead of the pawns. I don't know. And this guy also says that one of his abilities is to promote. So maybe these guys have different abilities. I have no idea. I'm really excited about this game. Because uh, first of all, when I'm good in a game, I like it. <laughs> and secondly... Because it's a roguelike and it's also chess and uh, calculations are my thing. So yeah, that's going to be it for today. And also breaking the game, like as you saw uh, with the uh, cantrips. <laughs> I mean, if you play card games, you should realize playing something for free and drawing another card in this place is awesome. Always, always, always very strong. So yeah, that's going to be it for today. 
Uh, thanks for watching and see you guys around.